a plan. But we were scared. What made us think we could deal with something like this by ourselves? I'm a straight empty to brass on all these bitches. Empty to brass? Where do you learn this shit? You want some? What's it? Jack. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. Room to lost all by 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 at the house to ourselves for about five days. Nice. Where'd the rents go? Uh, work trip, Christmas vacation, whatever. I don't Something know. Like you want some? You got 282 tickets. Okay, I'll have the soccer ball then. No, you won't. Soccer ball is 300. Pick something else. Come on, man. Can't you just give him the soccer ball? He's only 18 short. Maybe I should slam that pussy mouth of yours shut. Now you got enough for two. I wanted a lava lamp. You said we were gonna split it. That guy was being a douche. What was I gonna do? How do you know that kid? Who? The kid who gave us tickets. Oh, we live in each other. During the summer, my dad throws this neighborhood barbecue thing. He and his older bro always come with their parents. Should I ask him my question? Huh? Snakes or circus music? No, don't make us look stupid. What? Tell Tyler we're out here? Yeah, you said they're coming. Cool. Yeah, here they come. You guys getting drunk? Come join the party. Clutch. Carlo. Night, babe. Miss you. You mind? My mom's pulling in. You want to ride home? Uh, nah, it's OK. I got my bike. We could just throw it in the trunk. It's cool. Smooth. Hey, Tyler. What? Audrey. Tight box or what? Shit. Hey. Try and fucking talk about Audrey That's again, see what happens. I'm sorry. For real.
up right here. Out of town, right? Uh huh. Why? I think we should go hunting. Hunting? Yar. For some reindeer. You're insane. No, I'm not. We're not putting holes in the damn roof with my dad's guns. Yo, let's drag these reindeer out back. I want to shoot shit. Yeah, me too. Tyler. David, you and Carlo, get those things off the roof and put them out back. I'll meet you back there in ten. You got a key for this thing? Uh, yeah, check his tool belt. Tool belt? Yeah. Bathroom floor, usually, I think. Damn, bro! Your mom has big ass titties! Why don't you grow up, man? Uh, seriously? Ty, hook me up. What? Scott, I said grab the key! My dad's gonna kill me, man! I couldn't find it. I've got the M16, Scott's got the Uzi. You guys can have the pistols. We can't shoot the rifles? No. And listen up, because I'm the only one who knows anything about this stuff. What are you talking about? I went hunting with Dad. Once, and you didn't shoot anything. <laughs> OK, so from my memory, take your left hand, put it on the butt of the rifle. Right hand next to the trigger. And then take the butt of the gun and put it on your right shoulder and lean forward when you shoot. Why? Kickback and stuff. Also, we only have three headsets. So one of us gets to go deaf. It's cool. Listen to my music. Yeah, a good idea. So how are we going to explain the reindeer to mom? Watch where you're pointing that thing. It's live now. God, stupid fuck. Hey, let's do this shit.
Such oh, a dude, come on. That was great, wasn't it? That was that sick, was great. dude. God. That was You're a the, fucking hey, 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 was that your first time shooting, buddy? That was it. No, we <laughs> fucked <laughs> Terry Scott. We fucked him, Terry. That was it. Fuck what he's on. You're such a dickhead. That was great, wasn't it? That was sick, dude. That was a fucking We fucked him, Terry. I am That was so dope! What? Hey, hey, hey! I want to try that shit. David. Let me try this. Where the fuck is he going? Hey, hey, are you alright? It's all a dog. Yo, fuck! How the fuck did this happen? Because we shot him? Who the hell is he again? His name is Bradley. It's about a mile down the road. You got anything to eat? How could you be hungry? Can we call an ambulance or something? Not yet. Let's just think for a second, okay? My, my mom's friend is an orthopedic surgeon. Um, we should give him a call. For sure. He's dead, idiot. What's an orthopedic surgeon gonna do anyways? Fix his feet? <laughs> this isn't funny, Scott. <gasps> He's still bloody. Didn't you say you were gonna clean him? No. Anyway, how was I the one that got chosen to clean him? All right, it was David's fucking idea. How the hell did I get elected to do this, huh? Dude, chill. I mean, shouldn't we call someone, like the police maybe, or call something? Call the police. Call the police? We should call his parents. Are you trying to get us arrested? I'm with Carlo. We call the cops and turn ourselves in. I'm not turning myself in. If we turn ourselves in, we can tell him it was an accident, and maybe they'll let us Everyone off the Everyone just, just stop for a second. It doesn't matter if it was an accident. Trust me when I say it doesn't matter. When I was a freshman, I knew this guy. He was driving home after a football game drunk, and he hit this kid, and they put him away for a long time. This is different. Yeah, you're right. The kid he had lived. Get it? Not really. He means that we could fry for this. So do we know which one of us shot him? What do you mean? I mean, I mean, we all didn't shoot him, right? Like, it had to be one of us. Oh, don't start with that shit. We all did this. Shit. Wait, how, how did he get here? Why? Because if someone dropped him off, like his mom or something, they would have no idea. Bike here. Do we have any herb? Yeah. When did you fuckers start smoking? I don't know, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, well, that shit'll kill you. Chill, dude. It's just pot. I think we got bigger things to worry about. Uh, fine, whatever. Let's just stay focused, please. I say we we drive all night and bury him somewhere far. <laughs> we can't do that. I mean, they always find the body. <laughs> Shit's strong. <clears throat> nah, no, dude, it's just swag. It, it's weak. It means it's weak. Oh, I feel like such a Johnson. What the hell are you doing? It's hot. I need some air. Oh, it's much better. Are you insane? What? 
Suppose someone walks by and here's a group of kids talking about a body. You think that might raise some suspicion, dumbass? We live in the middle of nowhere. Who do you think's gonna hear? I'm taking precautions. Precautions? It's a little late for that, don't you think? David. I think we should hear Tyler out. Like I have a choice. What I'm trying to say is we have to get rid of him. No, we can't do that. Well, why not? Because I always find the body. What the hell is he talking about? Well, TV, bro. Don't you ever watch that cop shit? You can always find the body. They've got like radar and technology shit. Who was that? Dude, it's his mom. Don't, don't those things have like trackers or something? No, idiot. I'm gonna take a piss. It's hot, I'm opening that window. Dude, Tyler just said not to. Is he the boss of us or am I missing something? Stop being such a fucking problem. Am I being a problem? It means we just need to chill right now, okay? Chill? Are you on his side? No, I'm not on anybody's side. We just need to chill. You want to crack at this? Carlo? Scott? Drive Carlo home. Right now? It's two in the morning. We have school in five hours. Oh, shit. We just need to get through tomorrow, and we'll take care of the rest of the weekend. That's a good idea. Someone cover his body up with something, please. You do it. Carlo. It's better. Why'd you become such a douche? You cool to drive? Yeah, come on. David. Wake up. I made breakfast.
Audrey, you riding with us this morning? Yes. Act normal. Wait, shouldn't we be going to the police? No, we'll talk about it tonight. Come on, this is insane. I said we'll talk about it tonight. Come in! Don't forget to tell Audrey happy birthday. You're unreal. <laughs> you forget to eat dinner last night or something? This one was a cooler talk about a girl's eating habits. Eating habits? Yeah. Just chill with the drama, okay? I'm still waking up. Where are you going? I had to pick something up. What? I'll show you when I have them. Told you to meet me after school off campus. I gotta work. You got a job? Even I can solve fries. It's good. You proud? Sure. Say it. Tell me you're finally proud of me. Can I see the flyers? Maybe. Fine, I'm proud. Thanks, babe. So? Oh. My boy Anthony hooked us up with those. So thank him when you see him. Thanks. Wait. Yeah. No, you can't, no. Okay. after it closes. Standing out the flyers today. Roller skate rave. You think it's stupid, don't you? Look, don't freak out. You think it's stupid? It's okay, you can say it. No, I, I don't. I think, I think it's cool. Really? For sure. It's just that I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it. It's my birthday. I know, I know, and I'm gonna try. I, I will, I just You're don't. You're such an asshole. Don't freak out, please. I told you I'm busy. I'm, I'm not freaking make... out. Didn't you just eat breakfast? Sub. Mrs. Holland didn't leave any work, so she put the TV on. It's completely unnecessary, Stacy. But why oppose this? They're talking about guns. I'm a strong supporter yeah. of Second Amendment rights. Awesome. Always have been. Have a gun myself. What I think we really need to do is to have a conversation about our culture of violence in this country. Does it begin and end with guns? I don't think so. You see, owning a gun does not mean you use that gun to commit a violent crime. 
In fact, many statistics show that most people who own a gun do not commit a violent crime. Are you okay? Yeah, I just wish they changed this damn channel. Some would argue that mass shootings... Now, let me stop you right there. I think we need to focus on identifying, diagnosing, and ultimately finding help for people with mental illness. So what you're saying is that we should be able to legally obtain any and all firearms, no matter That's what exactly the size? That's exactly what I'm saying. Guns don't kill people. People, people kill people. I have to have defended their house successfully against the break-in. you're going what the hell i can't believe you're not coming i told you i can't just because rich helped me with the flyers what isn't that why you're really upset when did you see rich who cares he's your ex why do you have to see him so much at least he can make my party whatever What are you doing? Inviting more people to the party. It's overkill already. You got your cousin a DJ, everybody's gonna come regardless. I know, but still. I'm surprised you want a big thing anyway. What do you mean? I'm just saying, like, how many girls are lucky to have a guy like Tyler? He probably doesn't want to come to your party because he wanted to do something more romantic. And you're speaking from experience, please, girl. You really think? Yeah, and no offense, but if you keep acting like you're not interested, he could lose interest. <coughs> oh my God. I just wanted one last time to party before life gets busy, you know? Should I try again? Leave Scott alone. It's already suspicious. We're already suspicious. Why have we waited this long? One more hour isn't gonna mean shit. What exactly are we gonna say to them again? The truth. We're gonna tell them exactly how it happened. Right. You do realize they're gonna figure it out anyway, right? I guess. And when they do, any credibility we have is lost. Which is why we're going tonight. Get what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, man. <sighs> He's still not calling. Go be here. Or not. What if he panicked and skipped town? Or turned himself in? That could make it worse for all of us. He was acting a little strange today. He was? Yeah, just really intense. So let's just get it over with. Come on, you guys. We can't wait for him. <sighs> yeah. Whatever. Let's do this. Yeah? Okay, cool. I haven't had anything to drink, so I can drive. I'm driving. Are you gonna keep it? Yeah. I mean, I love Tyler and everything, so who cares if it's a little early? Oh, for sure. Last year, when I thought I had Peter's, I was kind of digging it. I'm gonna tell him after the party. That's a really good plan. Maybe you should tell him in a text message. That way he has time to digest it. Or in person is good, too. The thing is, I know I'm in love with him. Okay, <laughs> this might sound silly, but he has this baseball jersey that he always leaves on his bed. I love wearing it. <laughs> he hates when I put it on, like it's some holy garment or whatever, but I just can't get enough of it. I think it's because it just, 
love the smell of him. I think I'm gonna go over. Things ended badly for us today and I just feel like I gotta see him. Do you want us to go with you? Not tonight. Today sucked. You should be a fucking philosopher, Scott. Ugh. I'm getting sick of them. What, what do you guys want to listen to? Anything. Okay. So, I looked some shit up today, online. You know how many kids they send us to death? How many? Enough to scare the fuck out of me. Is, is this okay? Is this good? I'm, I'm sorry, wait, what, what were you saying? Okay. Like, I didn't know that they could kill kids. But guys, they can. Can I hit that? Yeah. Should stink. Yeah. Where were you tonight? Okay. So I came up with an idea. Yeah? Yeah, and it's a good one. So wait to say anything until I'm finished. Okay. What if we recorded ourselves? Like on a computer. What? Wait until I finish, David. Okay. Three of us confess. Right? Leaving one of us out, saying that he wasn't there. And then we take these four flash drives and, and, we, and we stash them away somewhere. I'm confused. Okay, listen. So we take the four different flash drives and we stash them away. And then we get the guns. When do your parents get back, by the way? A uh, couple days. Okay. Okay. So we take the guns and we split up. And then we kill each other until there's only one man standing. Okay, there's four different videos, right? Now on each one, one of us is cleared by the others. So, who's ever the last one alive, destroys the other three flash drives, takes the one where he's innocent to the police, and not only does he get to live, but he gets away with it. Okay, now you guys can speak. You're a dumbass. Yeah, I don't know, man. That is the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Ever. Okay, David, well, maybe you'd rather get treated with a little lethal injection. Well, I think this new idea of yours is completely outrageous and unrealistic. Nothing is realistic anymore, David. We're fucked. And what, playing some suburban version of Assassin's Creed is your plan? Well, oh, David, when you put it like that, it sounds dumb. Well, how would you put it, Scott? Dude. I'm just trying to fix this, or at least try. I mean, I was looking that shit up online, dude. Like, I even looked up shit about people that cops wasted just because that they were in the wrong place at the wrong fucking time. If you look guilty, you're guilty. You look shit up. That's like going online when you're a little sick and some website tells you that based on your symptoms, you have cancer when all you really have is the flu. Carlo, do we have any more pot? Yeah, buddy, just fresh Can I please hit that? Yeah. Fuck! Hey, 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 who the hell that? was that? Chill, okay? Let's see who it is. Oh, shit. Tyler! Tyler! Seriously? mad at me? I don't, I don't have time for this right now. What? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Looking for David, have you seen him? Why, why do you need to talk to him? I need advice on music for the party. David! Hey, you, you, you can't see David. Why not? 
He's in his room with a chick from school. He'd just be embarrassed if he knew anyone else was here right now. That's adorable. Yeah, whatever. You sure I can't stay? Yeah, you gotta go. Don't come tomorrow if you're still acting like an ass. Yes, but one of us lives. So we just go at each other like hitmen? What the fuck are you not getting about this me? plan? Oh my God. Tyler, this is stupid. It really is. This is seriously the best thing that we can do right now. You have no clue what you're talking about. And you do. Suddenly, you're the fucking expert on what to do when you kill a child. No, but apparently you are now. Important announcement. Vegas police say a 12-year-old boy who went missing last night still hasn't returned home. Bradley Holt was reported missing this morning. His parents are urging anyone with information about his whereabouts to contact the Las Vegas Police Department immediately. Holy shit, dude. What the hell? Oh, we're fucked. Relax, relax. We knew this shit was going to happen. But that was real. And that was fucking real. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. Get out. No one's going anywhere. Carl, let's just take a breather. You stay away from Carlo. Calm down. Hey, Carl. I can't do this. What the hell, man? I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to die like this. I agree. I agree. Agree with them. It makes sense. Fuck. I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe this is actually happening. I'm in. <laughs> Would somebody turn that fucking thing off already? <sighs> David. It's our only option. <sighs> You're really gonna kill your own brother? I'd kill myself before I let that happen, okay? You gotta realize, no matter what happens, our lives are over. <sighs> I'm spent. I'm... What does that mean? It means fine. Maybe you guys are right. Maybe I'm just in over my head. Probably be good. Carlo, grab that. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it around here. Sorry. That should be ready to go. <sighs> we killed Bradley. And now, I mean, as you're watching this tape, by now we've killed ourselves. Yeah, you, uh, Make a mistake like this and it changes the rest of your life. Dude, what life? Shit's over. I had never even met him before. I knew him. We were neighbors. I mostly remember him just running around his pool trying to get away from his little sister. No, he put us in this situation by just showing up. Not on purpose, though. It makes me so fucking mad. Honestly, I'd kill him again if I had the chance. Dude. I'm just saying. We didn't even know I was coming over. <laughs> I was 
Gonna believe that, right? <sighs> yeah. I want his parents to know what happened. I want them to know that we didn't mean it. Of course we didn't mean it. But people are gonna believe what they want, which is why we were forced to do this. David, though. Mm. That little shit is so fucking lucky. He goes to his room to make music, right? To mix music. He didn't even hear the gunshots go off because the music in his phones is so fucking loud. And we didn't even tell him until the next day. Tyler didn't have anything to do with it. He said we were acting like a bunch of tools and went off to get some warm beer. And Carlo was with us at the arcade, but he left to go home before we ever shot the guns. He had homework or something. And even though Scott was with us earlier that night, he wasn't there when it actually happened. He got too drunk and had a bounce. It was just the three of us. But David wasn't there. Tyler wasn't even there. Carlo was never there. Scott wasn't there. Drives are good? Yeah. Now what? We stash him. Where? Baby Jesus. In his basket. What? No way. That's blasphemous. Put him under the camel. Dude, what we did, that shit's blasphemous. You're such an asshole. I'm just saying. Guys, Dude. shut up. Let's go under the baskets. It's a good idea. You're right, though, about what we did. It is blasphemous, unforgivable even. Even if our plan does work, there's no escaping that, ever. Yeah, maybe. Let's go. Can I uh, get a ride home? I think it was a mistake to cover him up like that. What? Bradley. It just seems wrong to suffocate him under that tarp. Suffocate him? I'm going to bed. That's gonna explode. Come over. Is that your gun? Yeah. You might as well take it, though. Two's better than one, right? I'm not taking it. I'm not shooting anyone. fucking killed him. <laughs> Let's just call Scott and Carlo and tell them that we're calling this thing off and turning ourselves in. thinking last night.
Is everything all right? I don't know. You want to go eat some breakfast? Yeah. Side first and change or something. You can wait in the car. It was that stupid bitch lecture me about not coming home last night. <sighs> Fuck no. Is that Gail? It's Pam now. <sighs> Let's go eat. Okay. Just get what you want, man. I got it. Sure. Totally. Well, what can I get for you, boys? Um, I'll have the uh, pancake egg thing. Uh, the Coke. Okay. And does that come with hash browns? No, that's extra. Is that cool? Yeah, man, go what you want. Okay, yeah, um, hash browns. Okay. I mean, I'll take the uh, egg white omelet with um, spinach and mushrooms. Mm-hmm. Tyler again. Do you leave a voicemail? No, a text. He said we all need to meet up. I just don't understand why he's not texting you. Well, I have no battery, so. I don't know, Carlo, dude. That's pretty fucking sketchy. Like, why would he need to see us? Maybe he changed the plan? Maybe. Carlo? And I could just be paranoid, but... Last night, we all agreed that this is the only way out, right? Yeah. Okay, well, Tyler wouldn't just change his mind. He's too fucking controlling. Okay, so... What? It's a trick. We go and see him. Thinking he's changed his mind, but he hasn't. He just wants to get us when we least expect it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, I think you're right. I know I'm right. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Bro, he's gonna kill us. He's not answering. And Carlos is off? Yeah. Well, we have no choice then. We have to find them and tell them this thing is off. I don't want it. Fine, but I'm keeping mine on me until this is all cleared up. Fine. And what about the confessions? We should get rid of them, right? Don't worry about that right now. We need to find Scott and Carlo first. I'm sure they're just the Scots or something. Okay. Should old acquaintance be forgot and
Call the card dispenser in a casino. What? A shoe. Not funny. Funny. <laughs> I like to feel them though. The cards. It's more personal. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think he buzzed. <laughs> Uh, fuck. I'll stay. <sighs> Flip him, honey. Push. Push. <laughs> Sometimes it's good not to be personal, though. You get me? With the folks I deal to, sometimes I feel like the Grim Reaper, ruining all those lives, these men, betting money they don't have or hope to have or never had. And I just sit there smiling at them. Made me stop going to church. I didn't know that. Why? It's too many sins. I mean, Gambling is a sin, fine, but what I do is shit. It's like driving a cab straight off a cliff because the guy in the back said he'd pay the fare. And I don't care what anyone says, some sins are downright un. You just take a nap. You wanna play another hand? No, I, I think we're gone. Okay. Suit yourself. I'll be in the kitchen. Hi, it's, it's Leslie from down the road. Do you remember me? Bradley's mom? Yeah, I know, I know who you are. Have you seen Bradley? He didn't come home the other night. 
I don't know. Wh where would I have seen him? On his bike? I don't know. <laughs> He's a good kid, Bradley. He always checks in. He has a cell phone, but uh, it isn't even on. Okay, okay, please. I have to go. You've seen him. Haven't you? I haven't seen him. Please, leave me alone. Please, don't! I haven't seen him. Please, leave me alone. No! Please tell me where he is! Hey, where are you? I'm home. What are you doing at home? I had to lay down. Honestly, I'm kind of freaking out. Well, were they there? What? Were they at Carlo's? Oh, I, I didn't check. I'm really not feeling well, Tyler. Damn it, David! You guys off the same time I am? Yeah. We're going to Audrey's party, right? We got uninvited. I think we should go anyway. What were you thinking? Let's meet that cock Audrey's date. Scott? What? He's always with one of you. They didn't say where they went, did they? Mm -mm. Sorry, honey, no. But isn't that Scott's car right there? <laughs> you tell him you came by, okay? I need to use the bathroom. Tyler. My mom wouldn't let Carl lose the bathroom if he had to. Okay, honey, just be quick. Why do you think they'll be at this party? Because they probably think we'll be here. Damn it! What? I left Audrey's gift in my room. What? I was gonna give her my jersey. She likes to wear it all the time for some reason. Come on. David, get inside. No way. David, go. Now. Just go home. We have the right to be here, too. Oh, no, you don't. You don't tell me what to do.
I don't buy it. You're a pussy. Chill out, Rich. Seriously, man. You're a stupid pussy shit! for this one. Cool. Not if I don't get some. Right, yeah. <laughs> At least they got a decent supply. What? Of alcohol. Yeah, I just ran into Scott and Carlo. They're more messed up than me. Well, you saw them? I mean, uh, more messed up than I. That's some college shit right there. Wait, you saw them? because she knows her best friends. I mean, I feel like it's my birthday too, almost. Do you know what I mean, Audrey? Uh-huh. Have you seen Tyler yet? Ah! You see him? Uh, Peter! Peter! This is crazy, right? Yeah, I'm nuts. Why do you seem weird again? I'm not, I'm not, I'm sorry. I wanna dance. Come on. <laughs>
Going. I don't know, Mexico? You don't even know where Mexico is? Well, I'll find it! Fuck! Brother thinks he's real tough. Hey, you, uh, you doing okay? Tell you something? Yeah. You know, uh, Cindy Esposito? Yeah. yeah. I really like her. I know. I really, really like her. On Tuesday, we were, um, we were talking, right? And she told me I was shy. Why would she tell me that? I don't know. I mean, you only tell someone they're shy if you want them to open up about something. You know, maybe you, you want me to ask her out. Mm -hmm. But I, I didn't say anything, right? I, um, I just kind of laughed. No, because that, that's playing hard to get, right? Maybe I wasn't playing hard to get. Maybe I was just being shy. She's the last excuse. So excuse. Yeah, probably. Come. Have to stop talking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Run away, roller coaster. Oh my 
shooting anyone. Not my brother. Not my best friend. Scott? Scott? <laughs> hey, man. Um, I'm at a gas station, bro. What, what should I get? Gas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, but, like, do, do you want a beer or something? No, I got my fake on me. I can get you one. I'm sure. Yeah, cool. Okay. I'll get you one. Get a map. There's a map? Mexico, baby. Mexico. Yeah, right on, brother. Mexico. Carlo. Hey, hey. Carlo. He's from the heat of freezing. My name is David Workman. I, uh, I'm calling to turn myself in about the missing kid, Bradley Holt. Jeez, you believe this shit? Huh? The raise of the gas prices. It sucks, bro. You're damn right it sucks. How do you expect me to make any money? This shit tired. Hey. Don't even think about buying alcohol.
Vicky. David, what happened? Vicky. Oh, um, it's nothing. Where's Carlo? I'm worried about Carlo. Out of your pockets now! Right now! 